Jesus will never let you down Cause in him there is no sin at all Jesus will never let you down Cause he loves you no matter who you are Jesus can never let you down Cause his love is something strong Jesus can never let you down He wants to help you if your road is too long Jesus will never let you down Cause his sacrifice was part of the plan Jesus will never let you down Cause he died and did it all for you Jesus can never let you down Cause his love is something strong Let you down No, no He's the same Yesterday, today and forever We praise his name Across the nations Yeah All over the world Jesus will never let you down Hallelujah Because in him There is no sin at all Glory to God
met some I can tell you right now that a cheerful heart is good medicine But a broken down spirit dries up the bones Maybe you're feeling alone But I want to tell you just to come and receive good medicine Are you feeling weary inside? Trying to find a fox over high All around it's crumbling apart You just can't find your way in the dark Then come with me to taste and see There's a way of fulfillment that's completely free Good medicine I can tell you right now that a cheerful heart is good medicine But a broken down spirit dries up the bones Maybe you're feeling alone But I want to tell you just to come and receive good medicine Have you tried to find some other way With your feet stuck in old Martin clay He wants to put a new song in your mouth As the wind blows from the north and south Then come with me To taste and see There's a way of fulfillment that's completely free Yes, it's free Good medicine
can ask me what you will, what you will from me. May I be obedient, trusting your decree. Your plan on your sovereign journey. We'll wait for that date when you'll ride through the gate of mercy. You live for. It's true, it could be what you die for. You'd fly if I told you my way. Blue sky would lead you to the highway. Find it's there behind you, so just turn round. The lights will guide you underneath his feathers. He will hide you. Then you will know. What I die for. You might search there in the darkness. He'll keep shining there regardless. You might find it's there behind you. So just turn round, the lights will guide you. Underneath his feathers, he will hide you. Then you will know.
You're the morning star, you're the getaway car, you're the line in the sand when I go too far. You're a swimming pool on an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say. You're my source of joy, and there's no dispute. When you smile at me, you know exactly what you do. Jesus, you're my friend, yes, your word is true, and I've decided I will follow you. And in this crazy life, and through the Crazy times, it's you, it's you. You make me sing your every line, your every word, your everything. I can come to you, you will make things well, and I won't give up for in me you dwell. You're a mystery. You're from outer space. You're every minute of my every day. And I do believe you became a man. That you died for me and rose again because you can. Whatever comes my way, you will see me through. And I know that is what your love can do. And in this crazy life, and through these crazy times, it's you, it's you. You make me sing your every line. Your every word, your everything, yes, Jesus, hallelujah. Cause you're my everything Yes, Jesus, hallelujah Yeah, the joy of the Lord is our strength right now And every day, hallelujah Yeah, la, 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 la La, la, la La, 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 la La, 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 la feel like this I'm thrown and overblown with bliss There must be an angel playing with my heart I walk into an empty room Suddenly my heart goes boom It's an orchestra of angels and they're playing with my heart Must be talking to an angel, 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 must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel. No one on earth could feel like this. I'm thrown and overblown with bliss. There must be an angel playing with my heart. When I think that I'm alone Seems there's more of us at home It's a multitude of angels And they're playing with my heart Must be talking to an angel 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 Must be talking to an
talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel. Hallelujah. I must be talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel, must be talking to an angel. It must be invigorating watching angels celebrating. Could this be reactivating all my senses, reconnecting? This must be a prize reception by celestial intervention, leaving me the recollection. To an empty room Suddenly my heart goes Boom! It's an orchestra of angels And they're playing with my heart still on that city seven hills there was a man that came in secret to inquire of the lamb of god the rabbi full of fire asking how can it be What will it take for me? And with loving eyes he said God so loved the world That he gave his only son That whosoever would believe They would not die but live Die but live Would not die but live forever. They would not die but live. Die but live. They would not die but live forever. Be born again. How can that? Everybody. Welcome to Jazzy Living Room Session number six. Um, Johnny and the Jazzuits here this evening, and uh, we just want to welcome you. Maybe some of you are still drifting in from whatever you've been doing this evening, or if some of you are watching from uh, North or South America, you never know it. Maybe you've just finished your lunch, or I don't know what. But I uh, just want to welcome you all here, and uh, wonderful that we can uh, make music for you. And uh, it's our prayer that you're going to go away encouraged and built up for this evening, which is Jazz for Jesus. How about that? Here we go. Yeah. See clearly now the rain is gone 
see all obstacles in my way Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind It's gonna be a bright, bright sunshiny day It's gonna be a bright, bright sunshiny day I can make it now the pain is gone yes. all of the bad feelings have disappeared where is that rainbow I've been praying for it's gonna be a bright bright sunshiny day gonna be a bright Skies, yes. Look straight ahead, nothing but blue. Yeah. Only blue, only blue skies. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus. 
Yes, welcome again, anyone who's just joined us in the last five minutes or something. And uh, here we are, live from AFH Film Studio in Barneveld. And uh, we're, uh, like I already said, I think, an evening of jazz for Jesus. And, um, yeah, we're Johnny and the Jazzovits. We're going to do for you now, this is a beautiful old hymn that was uh, originally a Swedish melody. And then somebody called Carl, I can't remember his surname now, I think it ends with Berg, Carl Somebody Berg. Uh, put the, the text to this, I think in Swedish, I'd imagine, and then this is the English translation. And it's a well-known hymn called How Great Thou Art. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder Thy power throughout the universe displayed Then sings my soul, my Saviour God to thee How great thou art, how great thou art then sings my soul, my Saviour God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away all my sin Hallelujah Then sings my soul My Saviour God to thee How great thou art How great thou art Then sings my soul my Saviour God to thee and thee alone How great thou art How great thou art Yes, Jesus How great thou art Praise Him on the piano, let's young Thank you. 
dear God to thee How great thou art How great thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee My loving Father How great thou art How great thou art Thank you Jesus How great thou art Yeah We worship in the Spirit of God Yes, how great thou art. Well, maybe you want to start the intro on this next one while I'm talking. Yeah. This is one from our first uh, CD we made called Psalms, Hymns and Spiritual Songs. That comes in the Bible from, I think it's Colossians. Or it's in two places maybe it says it. I can't remember right now, but it says, uh, Speak to one another, make melody in your heart to the Lord. Uh, making psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs in the Spirit. I think it's something like that. We have to look it up in the, in the Word of God. Okay, here we go. Mm, hope you're all feeling good back at home, wherever you are. If I'm shouting down on the microphone, somebody tell me. I love to sing. I love to pray, worship the Lord most every day. I go to the temple and I just want to stay, to hide from the hustle of the world and its ways. And I love to live on a mountain top, just fellowshipping with the Lord. I love to sit on a mountain top, cause I love to feel my spirit. So, but I've got to come down from that mountain top to the people in the valley below. Oh, they'll never know that they can go to the mountain of the Lord. Yes, the mountain of the Lord. Now, praising the Father is a good thing to do. To worship the Lord in both spirit and truth But if we worshipped all of the time There would be no one to lead the blind I'd love to stand on a mountain top Just fellowshipping with the Lord I'd love to sit on a mountain top Cause I'd love to feel my spirit
that worship is wrong Worship is more than just singing a song It's all that you say and everything that you do It's letting His Spirit live through you I love to live on a mountain top Just fellowshipping with the Lord I love to sit on a mountain top Cause I love to feel my spirit soar But I've got to come down from that mountain top To the people on Facebook below Backing me up, all the saints. Yeah, so I got to watch it with my voice because uh, sometimes I overdo it a bit too early on. I get a bit enthusiastic, and then, and then there's nothing left. You know, it's like the, the good wine. You know, in fact, that's it. Yeah, I can quote that one, John two, the wine. You know, when Jesus turned the water into the into wine. A lot of us know that story, and of course, he saved the best wine till the end, which is the supernaturally can turn from water into wine and what, in fact I think I was reading it yesterday morning that uh, the fact that there had to be Jesus told them to get the fill the pots and so Jesus didn't do everything it was a we have a part to play you know which is wonderful because he wants to work with us in uh, bringing the ministry bringing the, the love of God to people hallelujah Amen. yeah <laughs> cool okay this one's uh, I'm going to go over to the clarinet now and we haven't tested this, so hopefully it's going to be still working. I'm just going to grab this microphone. Yeah. The people from the UK, it's like in Blue Peter. This is one I prepared earlier. You know, if there's any... Oh. Sorry, the Dutchies here don't get that one. <laughs> uh, tone source? This is called What You Live For. <laughs> Gosh, I've really let them at it now. Haven't they? Was, let the cat out of the bag. So 
just turn round, the lights will guide you Underneath his feathers he will hide you Then you will know I promise you, then you will know us free choose his way not hearsay each new day showing you the path that's true Thanks, folks. Yeah, that's uh, that's on our uh, latest EP, which is called uh, Good Medicine. We're going to play that later, God willing. And um, I just want to take this moment to uh, firstly want to thank uh, everybody uh, here. Who uh, we have people in the studio, by the way. Um, who, yeah. yeah, there's many people here that have have helped and supported in incredible ways beyond what I could have imagined, really. Uh, to make this happen this evening. So I want to firstly thank you all here in the studio. I know there are some people watching. I know Werner and uh, Miriam are watching and they weren't able to make it. And also uh, Gertjan's parents. And I think there's a few other people that for... Sorry? Yeah, Hugo and Lizette were going to come here. Oh, they, they are watching. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bless you guys from Spain. <laughs> cool. So they're on the same time zone as us, I think. Great to uh, have you with us. In spirit, Hugo and Lizette and the family, maybe the, I don't know if the daughters are watching. Um, I just want to also just thank everybody that has supported. And uh, uh, there were some people that uh, gave in different ways for the crowdfunding. And, um, but we had this uh, wonderful idea, didn't we, to, do a, uh, to um, support a particular business, to give a bit of promotion. And um, uh, in fact, it's, it's quite spiritual in a way, isn't it? Because it's kind of light. It's to do with light. It's a company called Solar Hardavike. And I think there might be something coming up, up on the screen now for you. Uh, they uh, helped us in an amazing way. So thank you very much, Ronald and uh, Marluce, for, uh, for that. And uh, so go and get some solar panels. In fact, we need some, so um, maybe we'll be in touch. And then you have to give me a good deal now, don't you? No, that's a joke. <laughs> okay, I'll get rid of this uh, probe. One second. So... And everyone going okay there? I mean, I was wondering about whether if I just have a quick little look and is there anybody, you know, because I've got my phone sort of at the ready here. See if there's anyone saying anything or doing anything. Well, oh yeah, my father-in-law's watching. Hey, Jacob. <laughs> Dorcha. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you need to start putting a few messages, folks. Rian, I don't know, is that uh, Rian? It's probably it's Re and then Anne. You know how you do that on Facebook to try and avoid people knowing who you are. So I'll just call you Re. Nobody heard your full name there. Yeah. Okay, at this stage in the evening, we're going to do um, this one. is also on the Good Medicine EP, and uh, this is a song uh, that is um, uh, it's actually originally written by Michael Bublé and two other songwriters. And I heard it at a wedding somewhere. It wasn't your wedding, I don't think. But it was, uh, I was um, in the uh, reception area uh, and there was some music playing and it was this particular song and uh, the lyrics are kind of um, describing somebody, that you're this and you're that and you're, you know, you're amazing and wonderful and everything. And I thought, well, this sounds like a pretty good um, song to be um, uh, jazzified and uh, ja Johnny and the Jazzowitz-ified. 
Uh, so I changed the lyrics by 21%, I think. Maybe it was 29%. And uh, Universal uh, kindly allowed us to record it. Very kind of them. So if, if Michael, if you're watching this, and uh, you better know that Jesus loves you. I know that I've heard about uh, Michael with his... Uh, he had the Bible in his, under his bed. Or under his pillow or something. He, uh, he thought he wanted to become famous. So that's happened. <laughs> but, um, yeah... You start reading it, and then you're going to see amazing truths in there about time after this, because this is all going to pass away. Everything here, folks, is all going away. And then there's just going to be Jesus left, and we're going to be worshipping in, uh, in the new heaven and the new earth. I don't know exactly how that's going to work out, pan out. You know, there's all different stories about the millennium. and Anyway, I'm waffling on now. But uh, this is called Our Version of Everything. May it be a blessing to whoever's going to watch it or listen. You're the morning star, you're the getaway car You're the line in the sand when I go too far You're a swimming pool on an August day And you're the perfect thing to say You're my source of joy and there's no dispute When you smile at me you know exactly what you do Jesus you're my friend, yes your word is true And I've decided I will follow you And in this crazy life and through these Crazy times, it's you, it's you You make me sing You're every line, you're every word You're everything, yes, Jesus I can come to you, you will make things well And I won't give up, for in me you dwell You're a mystery you're from outer space for every minute of my every day And I do believe you became a man That you died for me and rose again because you can Whatever comes my way, you will see me through And I know that is what your love can do And in this crazy life and Through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing your every line your every word your everything yes Jesus praise him on the piano that's young Amen. Yeah, Song of Songs. It's uh, Song of Solomon in some translations, or Song of 
songs, I think, in another translation. There's a beautiful bit in there where I am my beloved's and he is mine. So there's this bridegroom, the bride and the bridegroom coming together, you know. And, uh, yeah, uh, for people that don't really understand what I'm on about, it's um, just keep it simple. It's like a yeah, husband and wife. Maybe it sounds a bit strange, but Jesus is the husband and and the believers are the wife. We're kind of a collection, of, a body of believers. So, and Jesus is presently seated at the right hand of the Father. I remember learning that from Church of England when we had the, uh, uh, what is it, the um, Apostles' Creed, is it? Or the Lyce- Nicene? Not Lyceum, that's something else. What is Lyceum? I don't know. <laughs> well, the Nicene Creed. Anyway, where it, there's a bit where it says that he's seated at the right hand of the Father and he's coming again in glory. So uh, he's coming back for a... For, for us, for the ones that want to follow Jesus. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go into that a bit more later, actually. Because right now, well, it says the sermon is the next one, so I'm kind of in that, the sermon, I guess. But um, this is one that uh, Pierre suggested that we do. I'm putting all the responsibility on him. Oh, by the way, you might want to meet the band, folks. On the drums, Mr. Tom Neuerhauser yeah. from uh, Tilburg in the Netherlands. And on the contrabass from Curaçao, Pierre Duncker. So he's now residing in Dorn, Dornworth, is that right? Dornworth. Dornworth. It sounds much more um, um, exotic to me than uh, Curaçao, don't you think? South France. <laughs> Morocco. No, Morocco, you are. that's nice as well. I want to go to Marrakesh and places like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then uh, my uh, right-hand man on the piano, playing beautifully for you, as always. He's been a great support with arrangements and stuff. It's Mr. Gert Jan Schurf. Yeah. So everyone happy in the audience? Everybody happy online? Do a little wave or whatever it is they do these days. We want love. We want love. (laughs) Yeah, love for Jesus. If you love Jesus, write amen or something. No, no. They do that a lot now on Facebook. It's like if you like, if you love G- if you love God, type Amen, and then maybe some people are doing it so they get more people to get they get more comments. You know, <laughs> we're not trying to do play that game on you. I can promise you. Yeah, and and if if that ever happens, then uh, yeah, God help me. <laughs> right. What are we doing? Yes, this is a tune written by I think it's written by Jimmy Smith. Um, I first I don't know if Anton uh, Tony is watching from Bangkok. My old mate uh, who introduced me to a lot of jazz when we were at music college uh, that was before I came to Christ and uh, we were doing smoking wacky backy and all that type of thing you know so um, yeah if anyone thinks that I <laughs> anyway that's the wonders of God you see how he can work in your lives and change you and uh, but anyway uh, good old Tony you know we got the records out and I think this might have been one of them uh, G- Jimmy Smith uh, Not particularly this song, but this one is one of his, and it's called The Sermon. And I don't really know the melody at all. So we're just going to do a kind of blues, but it's something like The Sermon by Jimmy Smith, okay? In the key of F. Here we go. One in.
Christian Schiff on the piano. the drums. Thank you, Val. Hey, it's awesome. Great you can join us. Well, cheers. Um, any, I know, well, if you, if you want to get a drink, guys, you can in the studio, or even at home, you're allowed to now. I'm keeping an eye on you. <laughs> well, cheers wherever you are. Yeah, good health. In the name of Jesus, I speak out good health over each of us. Yeah. And then the best way to be in good health, well, I mean, sometimes it doesn't work quite like that, but uh, his word is a, is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, it says in Psalm 119, that, um, you know, he's not going to give us a, a stone if we ask for bread. I think I've got that right. And I can't remember the other one, something to do with a scorpion. And, is that the other one or not? A fish. You're not going to give you a scorpion if you ask for a fish. Is that right? Yeah? Because he's a good God. Okay, I don't know. If there is anyone out there right now, and uh, maybe you've you've been disappointed in in people, uh, the church, people in the church, maybe or whatever it is, just want to really encourage you that 
God is good all the time. And all the time God is good. Amen. You know? But anyway, um, we're going to do now a couple of songs from uh, um, um, Jude Meritus and Aka Rob Tromans, who I, I'm pretty sure he's watching right now. Um, if he's managed to get his computer fixed, I tend to I have to keep helping him with his computer. But he's <laughs> anyway, Rob, I hope you're there. I'm going to give you a wave, especially for you, brother. We've never actually met each other in person as yet. We've been uh, working through the Internet. But he's a lyricist who um, felt the Lord calling him to uh, write parodies, a bit like the one I did with everything. Uh, Rob has written several and we're uh, trying to get some permission uh, legally to make that happen. He's written a lovely version of My Way, which is called His Way, and uh, there's a few other songs of that nature. But tonight we're going to do two that we know we can uh, legally perform without anyone uh, getting into trouble. Uh, and he co-wrote uh, these two uh, with various different people, um, Andy Baker from Homegrown Worship and April uh, Shipton and uh, Rob, as uh, Jude Meritus wrote this first one. This is called Take Salvation's Way. No matter what you've done God can forgive you Make your mind up today Take salvation's way Tomorrow may be too late So make your mind up today Who are you gonna serve All your days on the earth Will you open your heart and step into freedom? Only by grace through faith can we truly be saved. Tomorrow may be too late, so make your mind up today. Who are you going to serve all your days on the earth? Today could be your last chance. To ask for his forgiveness He will humble the proud But he'll welcome you now This could be a moment to pray Take salvation's way salvation's way yes Jesus he's calling you tonight take salvation's way just listen to the still small voice calling your name you happen to me just take salvation's way yeah we believe it by faith tonight right here in Barnabel take salvation's way Take salvation's way. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, that sounded a bit like a slap around the face, didn't it? That take salvation's way. You know, I did. I don't know. It was the first attempt at an arrangement, so hopefully that's going to be all right, Rob. This is the second one. 
Um, maybe we can get a bit of into instrumental music from our maestro extraordinaire here. Can you do something? Just to... Ooh. Yeah. I don't know how your weekend's been so far. Uh, I was planning on taking it, taking it easy Friday night, you know, trying to get into a routine to rest on Friday night, get some Shabbat rest, you know, one day a week. Sometimes life can get so busy, especially, especially in the age we're living in. It's kind of 24/7, uh, isn't it? You can go to the go to the shops any day of the week, and then uh, yeah. But anyway, this is another one of Rob's that he wrote the lyrics for. Rob Tromans, Aka Jude Meritus, and uh, Melissa Hale has uh, did the first version of this, which is on Spotify. A very nice version. I hope she likes our rendition this song which is about uh, the return of Jesus yippee yeah we can be all like big kids come Jesus yeah
when you return, Lord. Coming in glory, coming in power, Son of Man, Son of God. Blow the shofar. I've got a shofar. I didn't bring it tonight, I'm afraid. Uh, maybe that should have been one of my main priorities, but I got caught up in all the other stuff. But I had the pleasure of... Um, there's a prayer house on the, uh, overlooking the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, and it's called... Uh, not Sukkot? Is, that means... Um, Sukkot Halel, yeah? Yeah, yeah and uh, did a set there with uh, Peter and Karen Van Essen. We were... In, in Israel, fortunate enough to be able to go the end of February, and uh, yeah, overlooks the Temple Mount. You can see the uh, the Dome of the Rock and everything there, and the, the Temple Mount. And you can see the Mount of Olives, which is where it says in uh, in Zechariah, I think Zechariah 14, uh, that he's uh, going to descend on the Mount of Olives, and there's going to be this huge earthquake. But um, he's going to come back and just uh, sort everything out. All the, all the things that are going on, that are, you know, the injustice in the world. I have to think of that somehow right now. Just all the people that are suffering in the world because of some people, elite people that are just, I don't know, their mind has just gone somewhere else. We have to pray for those kind of people, right? We're called to, uh, as believers, if there's any you know, people that are just watching and don't know about all this stuff with Jesus and everything, I can assure you, Jesus said... Uh, love those that, that curse you. He said, bless, bless those that curse you uh, and uh, love your enemies and pray for them. Yeah? Isn't that pretty? I mean, I don't know if about you, but that's difficult to do under my own strength. But that's why we, he sent the Holy Spirit. He said, um, if you read in the book of Acts, which is the, uh, uh, the Acts of the Apostles, comes after the Gospels. You have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Speaking of which... I've got the Johannes in Havona Tal here, uh, which is, um, for the English speakers, that's uh, the, the, um, the John's Gospel in a kind of a simple language for people. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can find stuff on the internet with a, you know, a simple language to start you off. Uh, but anyway, um, the Acts of the Apostles, and then uh, Jesus talks about um, that the Holy Spirit is going to send the, the Comforter, because we need to be guided by, by God through his Spirit. And... Um, I can assure you, with the stories I've heard of uh, persecuted believers and um, down the years, people that actually died for the faith. You can even read about it with Stephen, the first martyr, that he was glowing. Um, he was like shining like an angel. And I imagine he, everyone was throwing stones at him and everything, you know. And it just sounds like he was so full of the Spirit that he just, it was a blessing. I mean, I know that sounds completely crazy. But he was being killed, you know, and he was just like full of the spirit. Um, maybe there's a bit of a hard teaching right now for somebody. But um, the point I'm trying to make is don't worry. God is good and faithful and um, he comforts us. It also says that he comf in, uh, in Corinthians that he comforts us with the same uh, that we can then comfort other people in the way that God comforted us. So that's where when somebody can preach about a personal experience. So I can't give you any really counsel about uh, losing a mother or something because I haven't experienced that yet, you know. But there are, there are people, God brings people on your path that will have experienced something that you, there's somebody listening right now and I, I, I believe it by faith that somebody is going to speak to you. It might even be right now while you're watching this stream or you're going to meet somebody soon so somebody going to agree with me on this by faith that somebody's going to speak to you and you're going to know that it was the Lord. You're going to know that they had a word for you. It's like called word of knowledge. So it's where God gives information about somebody else to somebody so that they can then speak to them where they're like, wow, how did you know that? You know, and they're, and they're going to speak a word from the Lord. So may that be an encouragement. And um, I think I'm on the on the right path with the songs now with He Looked Beyond My Fault. Yeah, this is... Um, I just wanted to share a short little bit. Maybe you want to play something, Gretchen, uh, just to... Uh, 
And so this is about my, um, part of my testimony is that I was brought up Church of England, I uh, went to a Christian school, I sang in the choir, I was head chorister, all that kind of stuff, wearing the, well, we wore, wore this really old out 16th century uniform. Uh, but I, so I was brought up going to uh, every singing in the church, in the chapel it was at school, boarding school. And I had the word of God and would sing hymns. So I was absorbing all this information, but it never really, it didn't sort of sink in, you know. But then I was in Norway in a church, just to simplify things. I ended up in Norway in a church when I was 27. I'd been out in the world as a jazz musician for about uh, nine years and uh, had, you know, been, my innocence had been broken, you know, with kind of getting into drinking and, and then somebody said, hey, you know, what do you think of that woman over there? And, ooh, you know, and then you just get, you sort of get broken down with the things that you maybe knew were not honorable, but you sort of, you end up creating a layer of sort of, and then you end up in this other time, other zone where you think that, that it's acceptable to see how many women you can sleep with in one weekend or something, you know? And, um, so anyway, I was in that state of mind in Norway in 1998, staying in a hotel, and uh, there was a Gideon's Bible there, and I started reading it. Uh, and the third day, we had to play in a church down in Norway doing Negro spirituals, and uh, we were performing with a beautiful singer, Pauline Pierce, uh, from London. And uh, I think I'm—I think it's politically okay to say she was a big black mama. She was a wonderful woman, you know, you could always give her a hug. She'd pray for me. She was praying with the bass player, Trevor. And then it just happened to me. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, this is real. This is true. There I was in this church in Norway. And then it was like I've just said about the word of knowledge or whatever. I heard my name twice. I don't still don't know whether it was the drummer saying it. I heard Johnny, Johnny. Like I was playing my instrument and we were praising God. Well, they, I didn't know I was praising the Lord, but the bass player did and the singer did and the rest of the band weren't believers, but I just went off in this place, you know. And uh, one of the songs we did was this one. And uh, it's a song that talks about that Jesus, there's a verse in Romans 5 verse 8 that says that, it says that God demonstrates his love. Okay, just pause on that a minute that he demonstrates his love in that while we were still sinners Christ died for us okay because I can assure you there's nothing we can do to be saved okay God is good God is perfect God's law is perfect and and none of us we can try and climb up that ladder you know I'm not saying the law of God is bad because the law of God is good and it says it, in fact, it says that the law is, um, gosh, is it, uh, where is it? In 1 John or 2 John or somewhere, it says about the law is, um, there's another word, but it's, it's implying that it's a good guide for us. The law is a guide. It's like you have the law when you go to the Hermenta house or the, the law of this, this country, which seems to be falling apart in, in most of those countries, the law of the land. But the law of God is good. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that in order to, for salvation, it's all what God did in sending his son, Jesus, when he died on the cross. Yeah? So God demonstrates his love in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And I got revelation of that in Norway. And um, there's many here who've got a, incredible stories to tell and testimonies and, and people watching online. If you know somebody who says they're a Christian or love Jesus or whatever, just have a chat with them sometime, you know? Because God wants to, he wants to provide for your every need. He says it's not his will that any should perish, okay? I'll leave it at that for now. But it's all about the grace of God, this one written by Dottie Rambo. shall always be my song of praise.
For it was grace that bought my, my liberty. I do not know just why he came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and saw my need. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me oh marvelous the grace that caught my falling soul he looked beyond my faults and saw my need if not for grace my soul would be a sinking ship with no safe harbor no safe harbor from those angry waves oh yes Lord but Calvary's cross shines brightly through the darkest storm thank you Lord that you always just in time your mercy rescues me chorus I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary just like the Apostle John and Mary at the cross to view the cross where the King of Kings bled and died for you and for me how marvelous the grace that caught my falling soul you were the only one who could do it cause you looked beyond my fault and saw I hope that's an encouragement for somebody. Yeah. Just want to pray right now. Lord God, you're in control of this world. You're in control. Whatever plans the enemy might have, you're in control of the internet. You can use it for your purposes. But we know, God, that you wanted us to come together in person as well. So just pray, anyone watching, if you're feeling lonely or to each of us if we know of somebody that is lonely right now that we'll go to them maybe just give them a cup of tea or something whatever it might be to tell them that he looked beyond your faults and saw Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Well, the next song is going to be featuring, um, he's a, for those abroad watching, he's uh, quite well known on the Christian music scene, I guess. He's um, uh, got to know him personally. This is an example of an answer to prayer because I was, I prayed to the Lord. I was like, it'd be great if I could meet this particular person because I had a few questions 
um, that I thought he might be able to give me a, a few helping, a helping hand or a guide from God's word in, in uh, how to proceed. And uh, I think I've kind of got in a good place with it now. Uh, but uh, it turned out we were, uh, there's uh, one of the biblical feasts, it's called the Feast of Tabernacles in English or Sukkot in Hebrew. And um, uh, I can't even remember which calendar it was. There's, sometimes it gets a bit confusing whether it was the, the Jewish calendar or the... Anyway, but it was, I believed it was the first day of Sukkot and uh, I know a lot of people there did as well. And um, I thought it'd be nice to go to this little Jewish shop in uh, Amstel Vane and uh, get some... Uh, 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 what's the bread called? Hala, hala bread. Yeah, it's the one where they make it in knots, uh, like a it's really nice, nicely made. And uh, so I went and got some of that and bought a bottle of uh, Israeli wine. Just wanted to bless the uh, the Jewish people there, because uh, obviously we know that for the Jewish uh, people, it's uh, I know it's difficult for many people in the world, uh, but um, uh, it seems to be that they uh, they are the chosen people according to. God's word in the Old Testament, and as a result of that, um, they can get sort of a lot of stones thrown at them and stuff, and um, opinions about them and things like that. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, I went there, and then um, uh, there he was. <laughs> there was Christian uh, playing his guitar, and we we looked at each other, and they, you recognised me, I think, from um, uh, down at the the gym or something. No, I don't know. No, we recognised each other from uh, being musicians on the Christian music scene, I think. So it was, uh, we were able to have a chat and then uh, we got together and then, um, uh, yeah, uh, recorded on his last album. I don't know if you want to say anything. Or... My name is Yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to come up here then? So please welcome Christian for Ford. Yeah. How high would you like this, sir? A little bit higher. I'm not so tall. Yeah, you get in there. Yeah, it's really a blessing to um, to meet you, to have met you. We were singing in Amsterdam uh, with, um, I think, uh, three or four musicians, and we were singing uh, just in the Jewish neighborhood there. And there he was, <laughs> and that was also from from your side to mine. Uh, we uh, we recognized each other, and I saw you from videos, and I was really encouraged by your um, uh, maybe also by your doing and the way how you freely. Uh, make music, but also testify and share about your personal life. So it was really great to meet. And I think we um, we played for maybe four or five times together yeah. in uh, different yeah. gigs. Yeah. Well, that was a funny thing as well. Was then then Christian suddenly rings me up. And he's like, "Oh, can you come and play on this and that?" And you know, <laughs> so it was like the Lord just uh, opened these opportunities. Sorry, I'll shut up. Yeah, great. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yes. Um, we're going to sing a song, shall yeah. I tell it? Um, we are going to sing a song from a new album. It's called, um, in Dutch, Dit geeft mij reden. In English, it's called, uh, This give me a reason. And it's about the reason why we can have joy in life. And a lot of times we search, uh, search for joy uh, in all kinds of um, circumstances. Um, and the problem with circumstances is that they can change. So we need to have joy that is unchangeable. And I think, and I also experienced that, that uh, the real joy that is um, not going away by different circumstances is, um, is the joy that is in Jesus, in our God, that Amen. is beyond uh, all situations. Yeah. Amen. Dit geeft mij reden. Yes. Ik vind kracht in dat wat Jezus heeft gedaan. O, door zijn werk kwam er weer nieuwe hoop in mijn bestaan. Hij heeft in zijn grote liefde al mijn schuld betaald. En nu ben ik een kind van God en dus rijk gemaakt. Dit geeft mij reden om steeds weer blij te zijn Dat ik mag weten veilig in hem te zijn 
En wat ook gebeuren zal, in hem is vrede. Dit geeft mij altijd weer reden om blij te zijn. Door geloof verrees ik met hem uit het graf. O prijs de Heer, die mij een hemelse positie gaf. Ja, boven elke macht verheven is mijn plaats bij hem. O overwinnaar ben ik zelf, zo ik Jezus ken. Dit geeft mij reden om steeds weer blij te zijn. Dat ik mag weten veilig in hem te zijn. En wat ook gebeuren zal, in hem is vrede. Dit geeft mij altijd weer reden om blij te zijn. Solo. Tegenhouden kan. Ja, straks zal heel de aarde vol zijn van zijn heerlijkheid. En dan heeft hij zelf beloofd, wat een zekerheid. Dit geeft mij steeds weer genoeg reden om blij te zijn. Dat ik mag weten veilig in hem te zijn. En wat ook gebeuren zal, in hem is vrede. Dit geeft mij altijd weer reden om blij te zijn. Ja, wat ook gebeuren zal, dit geeft mij reden. Ja, dit geeft mij altijd weer reden om blij te zijn. Altijd, altijd weer reden, altijd weer reden, altijd weer reden, om blij te zijn. Halleluja. Ja, en de laatste album is Mind Saker Height, right? Ja, yeah. yeah, Mind Saker Height, which means my uh, security or assurance. Assurance, thank you. Wow, oké. Okay. Um, how's this? Is this good? <laughs> Where are we in the list? This is, I'm really enjoying myself here, folks. It was kind of a bit of a struggle the last couple of days trying to get everything ready, you know. It's like if, if you have a wedding or something, it wasn't, wasn't as bad as that. I mean, the, the wedding, the, the build-up to the wedding, I meant, with the amount of things that need to be organised. Hey, Heidi, it's okay, lovey. She's uh, with, uh, with Omi and uh, our little son, David. I don't know if David's watching it, though. It might be a bit too late. But um, if he is, uh, you're all right, leave I was, uh, my son is um, uh, four. He's going to be five next month. Yeah. 
Okay, this is the, uh, we're gonna do the title track, I think, from the, uh, from the, actually, I think you've got a slide for this one, Frank, but uh, yeah, there we go, here's the CD. <laughs> Good Medicine EP, this is uh, based on a, uh, the, I got the idea from a song, uh, it finished, the song finished actually when I was in Russia, I was playing in Russia with a big band just before the corona thing kicked off in uh, February 2020. And then, um, uh, but the, the verse is, uh, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So a cheerful heart, well, it's got to be an encouragement for anybody, hasn't it? I mean, whether you believe or not in God. I mean, a cheerful heart, is, you know. <laughs> so hopefully that's an encouragement. And uh, it's on this album. I also want to just, before I forget, just do a shout out to um, um, Walid. Uh, Walid, my uh, Syrian uh, barber in Tolenburg. If you're watching, uh, he can't understand English or Dutch. So if there's anyone, can anyone speak any Kurd Kurdish? Then then we're in, uh, but um, Walid, uh, Tolenburg Kappa. Hello. Heel goed. Yeah, he's, he's doing a, he's doing a Nederlands, he's doing a Dutch course. And uh, every, I see him every three or four weeks, you know, how's it going? Um, how's the good? That's about all we can say at the moment, but we're getting there. Uh, he's a lovely chap, and uh, I think he's been through a lot. So anyway, uh, well, this one's for you, Walid, and it's called Good Medicine. Good medicine I can tell you right now That a cheerful heart is good medicine But a broken down spirit Dries up the bones Maybe you're feeling alone But I want to tell you Just to come and receive good medicine Are you feeling weary inside Trying to find a foxhole to hide All around it's crumbling apart you just can't find your way in the dark Then come with me To taste and see There's a way of fulfillment that's completely free Good medicine I can tell you right now that a cheerful heart is good medicine But a broken down spirit dries up the bones Maybe you're feeling alone, but I want to tell you just to come and receive good medicine. Have you tried to find some other way with your feet stuck in old Murray clay? He wants to put a new song in your mouth as the wind blows from the north or south. Then come with me to taste and see. There's a way of fulfillment that's completely free. Yes, it's free, hallelujah, good medicine. Depart from evil It will be health to your flesh And strength to your bones Because you're never alone A good medicine I can tell you right now That a cheerful heart is good medicine But a broken down spirit dries up the bones Maybe you're feeling alone but I want to tell you just to come with me It's time to jump from your sycamore tree He wants to tell you just to come and receive Good medicine Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Good medicine Yay! Yes, amen I also want to just say um, 
Um, I hope it's okay. <laughs> Dilshat is uh, one of the guys that delivers parcels to me with uh, post post an L, Toch. Yeah, yeah oh, sorry, else. Um, well, anyway, just wanted to say it's really nice that you're here. And um, he's, uh, we haven't had the, ch he's a musician as well. So he, he goes around driving the van and everything, but he's actually a musician. And I haven't yet had the chance, but um, we're going to, at some point, I hope, aren't we? I'm, I'm putting on the line a bit here, sorry, but uh, we were talking about maybe getting together because he plays, uh, which instrument was it? The the cordon from China. Wow. Is that the one with the hammers? It's a blowing instrument. Yeah, so it's a, some kind of, uh, we're going to get together anyway. Hopefully we can, uh, we can arrange that when it's convenient for you and, you know, when you've got some time when you're not driving around. I know you're probably having to work hard for your family and everything, but um, we hope we can, we can do that at some point. And uh, it's lovely that you can be here. So, uh, uh, we got to this point in the evening. We're going to do um, feature our piano man, extraordinaire. Well, with the trio, with Pierre and Tom, and uh, they're going to do this one made famous by uh, Oscar Peterson. It's, it's called "You Look Good to Me," but I thought it would be better to call it um, "God Is Good to Me" or something like that. Should we call it that for tonight? I hope um, Oscar Peterson fans are not going to be upset about that. Here's a song called "God Is Good to Me." Take it away, guys.
Yes, Kretjan Skurf on the piano. Pierre Dunker on the contrabass. Tom Neuhauser on the drums there. And we, we had a compliment from somebody. I was just checking a couple of the messages uh, about the sound uh, online. Apparently it sounds really nice. So that's great, isn't it? So we can all go home and then watch it all again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we come come, ooh, come to the end of the evening, I think, now. That's a good place where you all go, oh. No, I know some people might have to work tomorrow or something. Who knows? So uh, we're going to um, go out with a good old good one. And uh, is there anything I've forgotten to do in the shout out? I think it... I, oh, yeah, we done. <laughs> no, once again, thank you to, to Ronald and Marloos uh, for, for Solar um, Hardevike. Um, we're going to get into... I want to learn more about understanding about the solar panels, actually, because it's a... Very convenient uh, form of um, energy. It's not you, Ronald, in the picture, is it, on the thing? Fr from like 10 years ago or something? No, okay. Yeah, I played at Ronald's wedding and then uh, and he, he, he didn't have any hair at all. And then now he turned up today and it's a full head of hair. So, but it was always there. He just, just chose to shave it all off. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to finish off. Once again, thank you to everybody for coming. And um, uh, yeah, Clifton as well from uh, Black Gospel Experience. Puntanel. Yeah. And uh, Patrick's wife, uh, Fina. Uh, Fina's got a new uh, EP out that's worth checking out. I think it was on, on Groot News Radio in Holland uh, this last week, I think. And uh, yeah, well, everyone's got stuff going on. Anyone else want to say something? <laughs> Now we're going to finish with this one. Uh, this is uh, another one where the, the lyrics have been slightly altered. This is an example of one of these parodies of, uh, of Jude Meritus, Acker, Rob Tromans to send us off. So um, let me just get the clarinet. One second. Maybe do you want to do a grand build up while I do that? <laughs> Okay, you can tone it down now, guys. Don't get too carried away. If we're traveling in the footsteps of faithful saints who came before, then with them we'll be reunited on a new and sunlit shore. Oh, when the saints go marching in oh when the saints go marching in lord i want to be in that number oh when the saints go marching in lord by your grace and in your mercy include me in your faithful church i want to be in that number Oh, when the saints go marching in May Revelation 3 through 12 Be true for me and all of you Blessed Lord, you've placed before us An open door we must go through Oh, when that horn begins to blow Oh, when the horn begins to blow I want to be in that number Oh, when the saints go marching in Hallelujah! Unlock, no one can shut. Wake us up out of our slumber that we will shout, Lord Jesus, come. Oh, when the saints go marching.
marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Of the final trumpet, we'll try to meet him in the air. With the Lord sit at the banquet, his glory ever. Just to grab that camera there, sorry all, just to say thanks again everybody, we've had a wonderful time and uh, many blessings, maybe we're going to do a, a jazzy living room session number seven, that sounds like a rather good number to do one, so um, yeah, maybe we'll see you again, uh, do remember to share it with people you think need to be encouraged by what they've heard and um, hopefully we'll see you again some other time, thanks to everybody, also Everyone with Ford Kunst, all the people that, again, that uh, donated to make this happen. Uh, let's hope it's going to bear fruit for God's kingdom and um, see you all again sometime. Thank you very much from Johnny and the Jesuits. Bye. <laughs>
becomes all things through Christ who lives in me who died for me to set me free for me to set me free